Jess and you're watching Behind the Curtain on Fuse TV. Today we're going to be having a look at the Gilbert and Sullivan Society performance of Cox and Box. It's a one-act play about a landlord that rents out one room to two people. He thinks he can get away with it because one works nights and the other one works days. But he can't and problems arise. Interestingly enough, it's also the first all-female production of this performance. So let's go take a look. run through that and I know the same about your other two numbers uh, there but what I want to start with is a run through of the complete show. So you're the director for this play? Yes. Um, I was just wondering did you have a vision for it when you set out? Well the, the play was originally written for three men mm -hmm. um, so we've changed it quite substantially there by setting it with three women and we believe this is the first time that that's ever been done and the other thing we've done for it is taking it from the 1860s to the 1840s, mm -hmm. uh, which also makes a big change in how it feels, and um, I, I, and it means that because the reason for doing that was because a lot of the women had, uh, or a lot of the characters had military things or military positions, and by setting it in the 40s, you can make sure you can bring in ideas of national service uh, that all the women undertook. Well, that's interesting. Um, and do you think you've achieved everything that you wanted to from the performance? I, I feel personally that it works very well with uh, th three women and, and that actually it brings out a, a degree of uh, some, some other things that are, that are not apparent with, with the men when you play it with three men. And it certainly works very well with three women. <laughs> Her wing girl is Miss Cox, so there's like a divide within the opera. And there's the bouncer, which is the third party member. And she's quite um, she's quite boyish, mm -hmm. um, and she's got a very eccentric character. She's a printer, um, as opposed to Miss Cox, who's this like wonderful young lady, prim and proper. So it's got kind of the Jekyll and Hyde feel. Well, how did you find it playing like a boyish character? Is that natural to you? Quite natural. Yeah. <laughs> as he was saying, he was saying, right, so in the rehearsal, you have to stand a bit like this your legs open a bit manly and he was like actually kind of how you're standing right now and I was like thanks dad <laughs> has um, the rehearsal process been going well yeah, it, yeah really well we're going today we're putting the music and all of the acting together so hopefully it should start to come to a full production That's cool. and finally who's your favorite character in the piece mrs bouncer she's yeah. hilarious she's um she controls both of us and she does it very well she's a great actress so. cool thank you thank you Mrs. B has been using my gridiron. The last art of consumption that I cooked upon it was a pork chop. And now it is powerly impregnated with the odour of... Oh, red herrings! Oh, I'd indulge myself in a sleep if there was anybody about to superintend the turning of my bacon. which is the oldest of the three characters. She's the, the landlady who is basically um, swindling the two other characters. They're sharing a room because one works in the day and one works at night, so they, they don't meet each other even though they're actually renting out the same place. <laughs> yeah. How have you found it um, being in such a small cast of just three people? It has been very different. It's nothing I've ever done before. So, um, but it, it's quite hard because you've got so much to do compared to, you know, you might have a cast of 30. And, so we've got ten times more to do yeah. each because there's only three of us. Um, but it is fun and, you know, more attention on us, <laughs> which is always good. So your character's been named as the favourite character by <laughs> someone else. Um, who's your favourite character in the play? Um, I'm not sure, really. Is it you? They, <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> I think all three 
Harry are so funny because um, Nancy's character, Miss Cox, is just so straight laced, and then there's Miss Box, who's kind of feisty, a little bit violent, in fact. <laughs> and then I like my character because it's I've got this East End accent. <laughs> it's quite fun to do. So it's it's, it's a nice variety of characters. That's so, yeah. <laughs> He's busy making hats all day long, and he doesn't come home till night. So that I'm getting double rent for my room. And now that my lodgers is any the wiser. Now, let me put Miss Cox's things out of Miss Boxer's way. Never to have my hair cut again. And I was particularly emphatic in my instructions just to cut the ends off. She must have thought I meant the other ends. Eight o'clock, I declare. Come in. Hi, this is Nancy and she plays Miss Cox. Do you want to tell us a bit about your character? Yeah, Miss Cox is a hatter and I'm living in the Bouncers b and um, unbeknown to me, I'm living in the same room as Miss Box. Mm -hmm. um, I realise this when everything's going missing, however the bouncer blames it on the cat. Um, <laughs> but it's actually Miss Box and then I found out later in the play. Cool, yeah. so how have you been finding the rehearsals? Yeah, it's been really fun. Yeah? Yeah. Is it something you do again, do another play? Definitely, yeah. yeah. Definitely. It's and who's fun. your favourite character? I think it's the bouncer, just because she's quite funny. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. process been going like right to plan and yes yes I'll say yeah um, I mean all, all three of them are very are very keen and active and and we are we're in a very good position now I think it's going to be an excellent show is this the kind of um, show that you put on in this society often or is it like the unusual what's unusual about what we're doing at the moment is we're coupling trial by jury with Cox and box whereas normally we would do one two hour or two and a half hour show okay. whereas we're doing sort of two 40 minute shows this time so that's slightly different um, and that's due, that's um, yeah but it, it gives us the opportunity to do these two shows which I, I can't remember the last time oh I don't know when the society would have done them before. Okay. And Cox and Box will be shown on the 27th to the 30th of November at 7.30 each night with a matinee on the Saturday at 2.30. If you want tickets, email tickets at mugs.com. Tickets are £5 for students and £8 for non-students and it's shown in here, Council Chambers. Right, that's it for this episode. If you want to see more behind the scenes action, I'll see you next semester. Bye!